Around this time of year, children from five primary schools in Bishop Briggs come to visit our school for team building days and a chance to try out our classes. We interviewed two first years and a PSE teacher from our school on how they felt about the transition between primary and secondary school. Uh, my expectations for high school for high school were different from what from what it's really like because I thought it would be bigger and scarier. Than it is. Yeah, um, my expectations were I thought I would get lost a lot, but I didn't because it's a lot smaller than it looks from the outside. Um, I was most most nervous about like the atmosphere and how different it would be from primary school, but it wasn't that different. Like you settle in really quickly. I was nervous that teachers would all be really strict and bossy all the time. Do you see a lot of people who are nervous about starting high school? Yes, there are. Um, quite a lot of people are nervous about starting high school, but actually it's more often the parents who are more nervous than the young people, because obviously the young people are coming from a fairly small building where they're the oldest, coming into a huge building with lots of young people. Their, their little child is the youngest, so quite often it's the parents who are more, in, more nervous than the pupils. How do you support people who are nervous? Well, there's actually lots of things that we can do. Um, first of all, as a guidance team, we go to visit the primary schools before they come here, so we answer as many questions as we can. Obviously, as well, with primary seven open evening, where parents and young people can come round and actually sample some of the lessons. Then we have um, in May time, we have um, team building, so that all the young people get together and they meet lots of other people from the different primary schools. Then obviously we have the induction days, and obviously they meet their guidance teacher as well. We spend quite a bit of time with them, and they get to get a flavour of their timetable. Um, so there's, there are lots of things that go on, um, and also class lists are made up very carefully, so that young people are as supported as possible. How quickly do people usually say, say so? Usually very quickly. Um, there tends to be a lot of adrenaline, so everybody's fine in August and September. And then by the September weekend, and I hate to say this sounds sexist, but quite a lot of the boys get very, very tired and can get a bit tearful. But by the October break, everybody's usually well settled. There was one young man, though, who was still crying at Christmas, which was a bit, a bit upsetting for him. <laughs> but he's fine. <laughs> do you think that the visits are a good idea? And do you think there should be more visits? I think the visits are a superb idea and I really like the idea of maybe expanding what we're going to do with interdisciplinary links so that maybe young people from the primary school come up here and work in department with maybe S1 people on a particular project and I also think that the e-portfolio has got a good way to, to go with that and go where young people from the primary school can, can get to communicate with people who are here, ask questions and get the answers. So yeah, there's lots, we are doing lots but there will be other things we can do too. Although high school can seem scary at first, you'll make loads of new friends and enjoy the experience. This is Bishop Briggs Academy School News Report. Thank you for watching. <laughs>